what's going on guys this is gc welcome to my channel so in this video i will be showing you guys my builds for dungeons and raid and also i will be showing you guys gauntlet to first boss doing solo that how strong these builds are and first let me get with the set items i am using four piece v2s however the first bonus is vital the second is not really effective because it don't proc much but still the legendary gems that i have actually helps trigger my bottle i mean my vitus urge a lot like void spark gloom cask bottle hope actually triggers that as well and with that i am using two piece of shawl bars for the primary damage but there are other options as well but in my opinion the first buff is most vital for your legendary gem and some of the effect that you need like the shield here it can last longer than the cooldown itself for me because i came from the demon hunter demon hunter is my primary class and that is why everything i set up is for demon hunter and this is how it looks like i can reactivate it if i want but anyways using the increased duration on my skeleton mage bone armor now give me five charges of, of immunity from damage that is what i am using then one extra charge for skeleton mage here increased duration for the bone armor which is good as well sadly there is no other option for me to utilize otherwise i would have gone with that Let us forward. I can go here and see it's the red form, bone armor, dark curse, corpse plus, dark curse, dark curse, dark curse, scream stick, and red form, dark curse, if a target then look at this same over and over again for the specific skill. That is the most biggest issue I found with the uh, necromancer. Therefore I ended up using this one so i can have 39 percent more <laughs> increased duration however here peace hammer pierce hammer command skeleton damage increased by 19 percent which is good i am using the soul toria that is a molten golem which is good and there is another one which is a poison one that deals a corrosive damage which weakens the enemy which is good as well but here I am using this one. This is overall is a really good one. But the corrosive one is good as well. And this is Spite Fator. This is what I am using. I like this one because it explodes and deals good damage. However, there is another one. Which is for the Golem itself. That the more harmful damage the Golem takes. The more damage it deals. You can use that well as well i mean that one as well but for me i actually like this one and here the dark magnus i am using for the skeleton mages but these are my builds and i am going to show you guys how they looks like in gauntlet 2 doing solo against the first boss so you guys can have a better idea of this i'm starting now don't want to make the video really long this is why i was really quick and i will try to explain many things while doing it this is as you can see this is gauntlet 2 only me doing it so you have to do one thing plant them give them shield otherwise they will die they cannot take damage that is another weak side that i found out about necromancer so shield is actually really important again do the same thing so having longer duration on your bone armor is actually good it helps your mages to last longer and look at the damage and i am waiting to have two back and I am t making sure that he doesn't hit those. And he is doing bomb. So what I am going to do is easily disable it. 
Voila, one done. He really doesn't do anything to a necromancer as you guys can see. That's done. Do again and start dealing damage. With the better set, if you guys have different set, the specific one for Necromancer, maybe Grace of the Fragilent or the one that increased damage for the minions itself, that would be great. 15% more damage for the minions, that would be really, really nice with the V2's Arch there, in my opinion. I do not have that, otherwise that would be even better for me to deal more damage. But always make sure that your mages get those shield. As you can see, I am dead. The fire was on the ground and while I was talking I didn't focus. And he ended up killing me. Alright, we have a lot of time to take him down. I just have to make sure a common malaka. Oh, he's going to die. That's the downside, but I wanted to show you guys the true power of Necromancer. And this is the way to show it to you guys the true power that Necromancer possess. No other class can actually do this like. You can pretty much carry anyone. Oh, what just happened? I am not being focused here. And he is taking benefit of that. And dead. Be broken. Let me broke you, man. Yeah, he has a good range there. And they both died. Come on, man. Alright, now let me show you guys the true power of Necromancer. You see this bomb? They are joke to Necromancer. Come on, bomb. Explode. Nothing happened. Seriously, nothing happened to Necromancer. If you're a Necromancer and you, are having, you have a shield, you do not need to panic. You literally don't need to panic at all. Being a Necromancer. And once your mages have the shield, they are a force to reckon with. They deal really good damage. Oh, he ended up killing me with... <laughs> Anyways, I was not focused, otherwise he couldn't even able to kill me once. So there goes. Also, let me show you guys my family attributes. Attack speed, duration block chance is great critical hit damage and primary damage or skill damage and primary damage that is my goal in family buff here attack speed duration block chance critical damage primary damage so this is my setup here block chance is really good so yeah there goes guys 
hope you guys find this useful and you have can see the effectiveness and let me quickly show you guys oh no 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 i'm not going for the next boss although i have defeated him as well being solo the only boss that i was not able to beat was Kholul because of the shield minions uh, they were annoying but anyways you can have two pieces of Vitus to extend the duration for your gems and your bone armor then you can have where is the amulet uh, then you can have 15% increased damage for your summons and then also you can use the primary for the uh, shall bus 15% primary damage 15% increase mages damage and maybe 15% uh, and vitusar that would be a good setup for the set items as well but i hope you guys like this video and keep in mind i am not a primary necromancer this is just my way of playing necromancer which i find it relaxing easy and just wanted to share with you guys however you guys are welcome to share and let me know if there is a better way to go with the bills and i will be happy to hear that and learn but anyways i'll see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys